I think that uh, to have that structure to where you can really be a part of your work environment in a collectively bargaining, to be able to have that to where you can say, this is, this is about our labor. So when you connect the past, our labor, we, we labored for free and we helped build Mississippi and other states for free. So to be able to work in a, in a work environment to where you, you, you're coming to the boss and you're saying, my labor has value, it has worth. These are the conditions in which I want to sell my labor or how I feel like I need to work on a day-to-day -day basis. That's power within itself. And, and I, I always say all labor has value. Here, we're in this moment, right? So our book is basically called the, the Future We Need, Organizing for a Better Democracy in the 21st Century. And in it, we try to make several interventions. The first is to say that um, uh, organizing and collective bargaining is actually the one of the fundamental practices that will be a pathway to a healthy multiracial democracy. That is not just a political project like voting once a year, but that it's something where we need to involve the majority of people into decision making in their economic lives as well. I mean, this is part of a much bigger moment and our book really tries to lift up that the importance of the book actually right now is that we're in the midst of a great awakening, right? People to often talk about this moment as the great resignation. Mm. Um, people aren't quitting, right? Um, their jobs and leaving the labor force, they're quitting their jobs and going to other jobs that will give them the kind of living wages and benefits and respect and dignity that they need and, and agency as we see through these unionizing efforts. And so what's really extraordinary about this moment um, is the fact that workers have recognized how important it is to collectively come together and actually um, make change in this way. Um, and that's really the future we need.